Toys are a favorite pastime for kids. They may even make their own toys and games out of found objects. As we get older, we don't lose our desire to play. Instead, we become too preoccupied to do it. Many firms create toys and kits for children of all ages, but they don't always appear to prioritize safety. Although they didn't generate anything as gruesome as Victorian-era dollhouses, certain toys did result in injury and, in some cases, death. With Mattel as our guest, this video will not only look at the top 10 most harmful children's toys, but also provide a fascinating historical lesson. The list covers toys that can be hazardous if the instructions are not followed or if they are used by children under the age of 18. In the worst-case situation, these toys represent a real danger on their own, so keep an eye out for more. But first, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. 10. Baby Floats That Are Inflatable Babies have drowned in bathtubs and swimming pools, according to reports. Some parents schedule lessons for their children in case they slip into a pool by mistake. Children should not be left alone near water for safety reasons, and several toy producers sought to discover a way around this. The inflatables were created specifically to keep newborns floating in tubs. Some businesses even promoted them as a means to turn bath time into a joyful exploratory and educational experience. Accidents do happen, unfortunately, and the floats were no exception. When the floats were cut and deflated, some babies were suffocated or drowned. After 31 incidents of the floats seat straps ripping, approximately 4 million of them were recalled, creating a drowning danger. Otteru floats were recalled in 2015, following several instances of deflation. However, no deaths were reported as a result of the accidents. 9. Bottle Rocket Party for Science Whizzes This item was ranked among the top 10 most dangerous toys by Watch, a parent safety organization, in 2014. For the illusion of a real launch, the kit included rocket tubes with stoppers, soft plastic bottle rockets, water rocket stoppers, inflation needles, party bags, and a safety ribbon. Basically, everything you'll need for a bottle rocket party for kids. Other ingredients, like baking soda and vinegar, were not included in the kit's package. The makers also suggested using protective goggles to reduce the danger of projectile damage to the face or eyes. You had to acquire your own safety goggles because they weren't included in the package. The equipment was aimed for youngsters aged 8 and up who couldn't be expected to run out and buy a pair of safety goggles before playing. 8. Hannah Montana Card Game Miley Cyrus' Hannah Montana Persona was so successful that it spawned a TV show and a film. Whether it was book covers, backpacks, or handbags, many adolescent girls wanted anything with Hannah Montana's face or knew on it. Other items, such as guitars, were made for the brand, but the card game was the major threat. The lead levels in the card's carrying container were far higher than the legally allowed limit for toys. Lead is poisonous even in tiny levels and may be deadly in large doses. Lead poisoning develops over time when the body accumulates lead via repeated exposure to lead-containing substances such as lead dust, lead-based paints, or, in this case, lugging cases of the Hannah Montana card game. The consequences might take months or even years to manifest. Despite this, Disney was able to avoid recalling the card game by using a legal loophole. The lead was found in the vinyl covering of the card-carrying cases, not in the paintwork. 7. CSI Fingerprint Examination Kit The kit included a powder that could be dusted on items to identify fingerprints and was advertised as a fun way for kids to play detective. After analyzing samples of the fingerprint dusting powder in the kits, a California Asbestos Awareness Organization discovered that it included asbestos despite the manufacturing firm claiming that they found nothing when they did their tests. The awareness organization discovered that the kit powder included up to 7% tremolite asbestos, which is one of the most dangerous types of asbestos that may cause lung illness and cancer if breathed. CBS, the network that licensed the kit, was sued by the Asbestos Awareness Group. Planet Toys, the company that produced the kit, declared bankruptcy as a result of the catastrophe. 6. Children's Wood Burning Kits The burning kits were made to burn designs into the wood, and the longer they were left on the wood, 
the darker the burn became. If they could become hot enough to burn wood, they could obviously burn other things as well. Even though they were promoted towards children, the kits manufactured in the middle of the 1990s carried a considerable danger of body burns and flames. It was almost like handing kids a toy version of a soldering iron to play with, one that even adults use with caution. Thankfully, these kits are now made with safety in mind. 5. Park Flyer for Sky Rangers Airplanes Controlled Via Radio Escox distributed the planes, which elevated the inherent dangers of conventional remote-controlled planes to a new level. The planes may spontaneously combust during launching, mid-flight, or landing, but exploding during launching was extremely dangerous because they were meant to be tossed by hand. If they burst while being launched, they would be near the handler's head, posing a risk of damage to the face and hands. After 45 complaints of injuries, including burns, wounds, chest hits from debris, eye injuries, and temporary hearing loss, and air ache from the explosion's loudness, over 21,000 planes were recalled. 4. Snack time in the cabbage patch for the youngsters. They were able to chew and swallow plastic in the same way that humans do. The dolls, however, were unable to distinguish between plastic and other materials, clamping down on hair and fingers as well. A pair of smooth, one-way metal rollers behind the doll's mouths enabled the entire eating process. The food would leave through the dolls and into a backpack linked to the dolls, which you would then remove to stop the eating mechanism from working. Keep in mind that the mechanism was one way and youngsters who got their fingers or hair trapped in their mouths were harmed as a result. They were also eating their fingers and hair. A doll is said to have pulled one girl's hair all the way down to her scalp. Mattel took the dolls off the stores and offered a refund of $40, which wouldn't help if you pulled your hair to the scalp. 3. Game of Zulu Blowing Do you know how choking hazard stickers are placed on all children's toys and other items? The reason for this will be revealed later in the video. While most toy producers just label their items to comply with laws, the Zulu Blowing game went over and above to make the warning a reality. It had a long tube, as well as tiny, sharp darts. To use it, simply place the dart in the tube, press it firmly against your lips, and blow a fast, powerful puff. The directions didn't indicate where to inhale from, but it was the right method to operate the blow gun. Unfortunately, many children did not correctly follow the directions, and they could not be faulted. Take a deep inhale while pressing your lips to the mouthpiece. They breathed the darts instead because they put the two to their lips and inhaled through their mouths. That doesn't seem very appealing. The dart was not only sharp, but it would also choke. 2. The Colonial Viper from Battlestar Galactica Until this ship, toys did not come with choking danger warning stickers. The toy battleships were equipped with a spring-loaded missile that could be fired from the front. Three youngsters were claimed to have inadvertently fired the missiles towards themselves, inhaling or ingesting them. The missiles suffocated the youngsters, and one instance resulted in the death of a four-year-old kid. The child put the toy in his mouth and shot a missile at him, killing him. Mattel recalled the ships and began posting choking morning stickers on all of its toys with small components after a countrywide outcry demanding for missiles to be removed from all toys. The stickers ultimately became required for all toy makers, which brings us to the end of our Mattel history lesson. Mattel was also sued by the parents of the four-year-old child who died, and the judge who ruled over the case blamed the Star Wars space toys. As a result, Kenner, the firm that makes Star Wars toys, had to abandon the original design of its Boba Fett dolls and remove the rocket-firing backpack that had previously been included. 1. Darts on the Lawn Darts are a two-team player lawn game comparable to darts or horseshoes. They were huge, with plastic tail fins and metal or plastic tips that were weighted to ensure that they could fly and land first. Even though they were promoted as a family-safe toy, errant darts may inflict injuries that were occasionally deadly, despite the fact that they sounded like a simple and enjoyable notion. After causing many injuries, yard darts were prohibited but were eventually reintroduced on the condition that they would not be sold to minors. Despite the revised rules, a seven-year-old girl was killed by one, and the darts were eventually prohibited in the United States because they could not be kept away from children. 
This brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to support us by hitting the subscribe button and like this video. See you next time. Bye.